Good day, subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Jeremy. This is the Financial Education Channel, and today we are on part three of stock market terminology. So today I am trying to keep all the terms similar, and I think I'm going to try to do that for future videos so it'll make it that much easier, where all the terms are going to be somewhat similarly related. So let's go ahead and get right into this. The first term we have today is the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange is the biggest exchange in the entire world. Like over $14 billion worth of valued companies all trade on the New York Stock Exchange, which is obviously located in New York City. It's the oldest exchange also in New York City. And for a fun fact, if you've ever watched like movies from the 70s or 80s or 90s um, that take place on the New York Stock Exchange, you'll see there's tons of traders trading stocks and they have these physical papers and things like that. It's real fun to see versus seeing it today where it's basically almost like a museum. There's not much going on on the floor. There's like CNBC and business channels and whatnot that actually have sets right on the floor because there's hardly anybody even down there because trading nowadays is all done electronically. All that piece of paper, write this down, hey, I want 500 shares of this company and give it to the guy, that, that really doesn't exist anymore. So, New York Stock Exchange, that's what that is. Dow Jones, we're talking about the Dow Jones 30. That is the 30 biggest companies in the pretty much the entire market. Now, Unfortunately, the Dow 30 doesn't change very often. It changes maybe once a year, once every other year as far as stocks getting kicked out and the new stocks coming in. So, But it's the 30 biggest companies put together and then indexed together. And that can give you a perception on how the biggest companies in the world are doing for that trading day. So when somebody says, oh, the Dow was down 100 points today, I saw. Oh, the Dow was up 200 points today, I saw they're talking about the 30 biggest companies and how they trade it. And for whatever reason, that's kind of become the index of how the stock market's doing in general. So I, for right or wrong, it's only the 30 biggest companies and there are thousands and thousands of companies traded on the public markets. So the rest of the companies could be doing great and those ones could be doing bad. And unless you're investing in those biggest companies, you wouldn't even feel the effects. Next one up, we have the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is an index of stocks put together, but it's the 500 biggest companies. This index I actually look at more, and I think it's more important because you're talking about 500 companies, and also the S&P is almost updated every month. So if a company you know, trades off and trades off, they will end up getting kicked out of the S&P 500 and a new stock comes in. So the S&P 500 I actually look at more to see how the stock market is doing in general. 500 biggest companies in America all put together, or at least traded on the American stock exchanges. Next up, we have NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has become the second largest stock exchange in the entire world now. Now, on the NASDAQ, a lot of, I would say, tech companies trade on the NASDAQ. So, second largest in the world, I think it's over $10 billion in valuation now, is traded on the NASDAQ. The FTSE is the Britain Stock Exchange. So that's kind of what the NYSE is to America. The FTSE is to Britain. It's their largest stock exchange. So FTSE, the FTSE. That's the Britain Stock Exchange. We have the DAX. Now the DAX is, the, is kind of known as almost like the German Stock Exchange, but it's the 30 biggest companies in Germany indexed together. So in that respect, it's almost like the Dow Jones 30 that we just talked about, where it's America's 30 biggest companies indexed together. The DAX is German, Germany's 30 biggest companies all indexed together. The CAC 40 is France's 40 biggest companies all indexed together. That's what the CAC 40 is, French, France's biggest 40 companies all indexed together. We have the Shanghai, which is an index for all stocks traded on the Shanghai Exchange, which deals mostly just with Chinese stocks. So it's all them put together. They're all indexed together. It's not like, oh, just the 30 biggest or 500 biggest. It's every single one of them that trades on the Shanghai, all indexed together. The Nikkei, the Nikkei 225, that's, well, the Nikkei in itself, that's like the um, Japanese stock exchange, but... The Nikkei 225, that's the 225 biggest 
companies in Japan all index together. Why they pick 225, it, who knows, but you, you'll notice, you know, a lot of countries, they have different, like, indexes. Oh, here it's like the 30 biggest, here it's the 500 biggest, here it's the 40, here it's 225. It's a lot of different, but Nikkei 225, that's Japan's um, 225 biggest companies all indexed together. And the last word we're going over today is actually indexes. So if somebody says, hey, how did the indexes do today? Or sometimes they say, how did the indices do today? Something like that. That means how did the markets trade? How did the stock markets trade? Were they up? Were they down? So that's that's what that means. And like if somebody says, I want to buy an index fund, that means it's basically a reflection of what the stock market is. So whatever the index fund goes down or up, it's whatever the stock market's going down or up that day. So when someone says, hey, how did the indexes do today? Now you can say, oh, you know, they went, uh, looks like they went up today. Oh, they went down today. That's what that means. Anyways, I hope this helped today, guys. Ten more terms. We're knocking them out one week at a time until we get to the super advanced stuff, which I'm looking very forward to. At that time, I might have to cut it down to five terms because on the very advanced stuff, it's not like I can just tell you it real simple like this. I actually might have to break it down and go on the board and things like that. We'll see when that time comes. It's a long time away. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, you may want to. Talk a ton about personal finance. Talk a ton about business. And I talk a lot, a lot, a lot about the stock market investments. And I do this every week series covering stock market terminology you need to know. Thank you guys and have a great day.